Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is uh, Solar, and uh, today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how to make a AVI or profile picture for yourself or your or your team on Adobe Photoshop. Uh, before we get started, I have been designing for years now. I don't consider myself that good, but there are a few things I've made that I've been happy with. Uh, I'll show some of them. But I just thought, you know, since I don't do it much anymore, uh, just, you know, make a video showing what I know. You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe somebody will find this useful or something. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do, want to do um, I am going to drop uh, the PSD, which is the Photoshop document that you're going to want to download for this tutorial. Most of the teams that you design for or join, they're going to have one of these. And when you get started, it'll look uh, very similar to this. The layers will be similar. Um, but uh, go ahead and give that a download just so you can do this uh, tutorial. And uh, yeah, let's, let's just get started. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, I, you don't have to mess with it yet. Uh, just go to Chrome and uh, find a picture you'd like. Uh, ideally, you want something with a uh, good resolution, not too high, not too low, and um, something, you know, to kind of match the, uh, match what we're using. Um, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. If it's blurry, you just pick another one. Um, what I like to do is I like to use brighter pictures. So I always search like abstract HD wallpapers or uh, HD liquid wallpapers, which would bring stuff like this up. And I always choose a bright one because at the end of the day, I've always thought just brighter ones look better. Um, but uh, anyway, so I already chose this one and I have it downloaded. So just go ahead and save that. And then go back to Photoshop. Now over here, this will be your layer section. Um, and uh, you'll see that for this, I have what we're going to be working with is highlighted in yellow and you can see that right here i do have other stuff in this document uh you can play around with them but uh in this tutorial we're not going to really be using them so really only pay attention to this right here and then uh, we'll get to the name part later in the video so the first thing you're going to do is uh go ahead and select the layer which is named 2d just select it you'll see it's highlighted and then it's very simple and uh, once you do this you're basically gonna you know just get the hang of it very easily go to file then go to place embedded click on that then uh, let me find where I saved it then go ahead and click the file or the uh, photo that you chose and I should make this clear it needs to be a dot JPEG or uh, you can use other formats but that's just the one I use don't use WebM that won't work uh, so make sure it's dot JPEG go ahead and uh, click it and then place it and you'll see that the new layer is right there and uh, it's right above the 2d layer which is perfect that's exactly where you want it go ahead and push enter you'll see it's no longer it's placed it's there and then uh, you're going to right click on that layer so not the TD but the one that's highlighted right click it and it's as simple as this you click create clipping mask and you'll see that it makes it so it is now part of the logo itself, um, which is exactly what you want. So what I like to do, and you don't have to do this, um, it kind of depends on which logo you're working with, but I like to right click it, right click, right -click um, the JPEG image, and then duplicate it. So you're going to click duplicate layer, push OK, and then you're going to drag it down but right below the 2D layer. And you're going to, once again, repeat the step. It's, uh, you're going to right click and create clipping mask. And you'll see that makes it bond to the uh, 3D part of it. And what I mean is if I unclick 3D, you can see that's gone. If I unclick 2D, see that's gone right there. And then finally, 
And again, this is all up to you. Once you play around with it, you'll know exactly what you like to do, and uh, that will be your, your style from now on. So go ahead and duplicate one more time. So again, right click, duplicate layer. Do that one more time. And then for the background, here's how I normally like to do it. So drag it down, all the way down on, on my document. It's gonna be at the bottom. And go ahead and put it right above this BG layer, which is black, it's the background. Put it right there. But this time, don't uh, create a clipping mask. Instead, you're going to go up here to edit free transform and then you can make it bigger a little uh, tip if you want to make it uh, bigger but keep it the resolution it is hold shift because if you don't it's going to be all over the place you can see this one's a little blurry when it gets bigger but that's fine because once I do this, which this is something I always like doing because there's not really a good contrast between the logo and the background. Um, so right click on the layer, go to blending options, which is the top option, and bring down the opacity. Um, on one like this, I would maybe do around like 25, but uh, you, you know, you can do 50, you, know, you can do 50, and it still looks nice, but I would do 25. And it's starting to look the way you'd want it. Now uh, go ahead and go up. Then go to name. Make sure it's selected. Click this text tool right here. And just hover above name. Backspace. And then put whatever you want where the whatever name you want and uh, then you can go ahead and we just click that because it's easy and uh, yeah that's that's basically it it's really simple once you once you just know how to do it um, and then uh, I'm going to talk about these real quick so in uh, my file and I have every file like this this is not my pack I downloaded it probably like five years ago now, but it's still been the best one I've liked for just simple AVIs. You'll see all these fol folders, uh, the CC folders, and uh, you can play around with those. You can uh, select the eye, you'll know if it's on once uh, this eye is on the layer. And you can just play around with it, see what looks nice, see what looks cool, and uh, this will be available to you uh, to do whatever you want with it. Uh, we'll see if we can find one that really sticks out. Some of them are not that great, you know, like that one, but uh, sometimes they become useful. You just, you just gotta go through them sometimes. That looks kinda cool. Yeah. There's a lot of them, so we'll leave it like that. And then, like I said, uh, there's a lot to mess around with. I like the lighting I have on it now, so that's not really worth messing with. Um, but yeah, you know, a lot to mess around with, a lot to look at. So uh, hopefully somebody f found this useful. Um, I just wanted to make this because I have had people in the past ask me, hey, can you show me how to make this? or how you do that and um, you know it's really simple just once you really know how to create a clipping mask it becomes really easy and uh, you know I, I hope this was useful um, I will be making more of these videos if anybody wants me to so uh, let me know in the comments uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah see you guys next time